Hi, in this video we are going to continue with the types of testings. Next fifth one is a GUI testing, graphical user interface testing. What is GUI? In any application you are going to see the uh, main page of the application right with the elements will be there, different elements will be there like text boxes, buttons, links or combo boxes or list boxes radio button, check boxes, so many will be there. Those all are elements. According to the client requirement, all the elements are present in the page or not, you need to verify. Headers will be there, footers will be there, logos will be there. All these things you need to verify in the part of GUI testing. Only existence of the controls, existence of the elements, we are going to verify along with the alignment and tab order also we are going to check. So these things you are going to verify in the GUI testing according to the client requirement whether we are having all the elements presented in our page or not all the pages we are going to verify. GUI also separate scenarios and test cases we are going to write. So what are all we want to verify, what are all client is expecting on our uh, application, everything is we need to validate it from our end. So that is the reason we used to write a GUI test cases also to validate the each and every element whether it is present on our application or not. So that is coming under GUI testing. GUI means only the existence of the all the elements according to the client requirement. You may get a doubt here. How we know what all the elements need to be present? In the requirement document, the BA business analyst will design a diagram how client is expecting, what are all the elements he is expecting, everything he will design a diagram and give, share it to the both development team and testing team. Development team also develop the application based on that design, even from testing end also according to that design, all the elements are present or not we are going to verify. If any element is not present like header, footer is missing according to the requirement, that is a bug. We need to send it to the uh, development team for fixing or some element is missing. We need to report it to the development team or alignment is not proper for some of the elements. Alignment part they did not mention in the requirement document that we need to ensure. For example, username and password is there, username is right side, password is left side. We should not think that that is not there in the requirement, that is not a bug, no. So some things from testing side we need to use our knowledge, alignment also very very important to the application. If username is right side and uh, password is left side, how user will feel? It will not be good look, uh, looks good uh, that application. So that is the reason we need to cross check alignment of the application along with the existence of the elements and the tab order. So to how the tab order is, first tab is in first element and next tab is in last element then that is also a bug. So these things we need to verify in, in the part of GUI testing. It is also very very important interview question. Separate GUI test cases also we are going to prepare. For each and every element, one test case we used to maintain. So once we get the application, we are going to execute those test cases on the application. What is test case, how it will be in the future videos, I am going to cover it. That is about the GUI testing part. The, ne the next one is a ad hoc testing. What is ad hoc testing? Who will do this type of testing? For example, let me take a simple example. You are from some city in India. Your home city will be there or hometown will be there. You know each and everything in your hometown. Then it will be very easy to you to reach your destination very easily by using one of the shortest way. Because you are well known about your city. Some new person is there. New person came to your hometown. He want to go to multiple places because he is new to the city, he doesn't know anything. Then it will be very difficult for him to identify his destination. So why I am telling all these things is, 
ad hoc testing most of the times done by the experienced testers why because they know what what are all the different defects or bugs we may get in our application they will use their experience what are all the applications they might have tested so many they will use their knowledge on various applications they will try to find the bugs randomly working on our application ad hoc testing is no proper planning whatever they want they are going to test it whatever the flow they think that they may get a bug they can test that particular flow why freshers cannot do the ad hoc testing because they they don't have any knowledge any experience on other applications they cannot guess the errors where they may get on our application so that is the reason ad hoc testing is done by the experienced testers when they are going to do it two different cases they are going to do the ad hoc testing one is when they don't have time they need to deliver it to the client because client delivery is mandatory client committed with his end users to deliver something we don't have that much time then we are going to do the ad hoc testing we will perform the testing on various functionalities whatever they think that that functionality they are going to test it and they are going to give the conditional sign off to the client what is conditional sign off conditional sign off is something like due to the lack of time we did not tested all the functionalities we have tested so and so these all are working fine that is the reason we are giving conditional sign off if at all you are giving a conditional sign off it means that in the production you may get a one or two bugs or few bugs then the client will not ask to the testing team why you missed those bugs because you have given conditional sign off you did not tested each and everything that is one way we will do the ad hoc testing second way of testing is so experienced testers they will use their knowledge randomly they will test some functionalities where they expect where they guess a bug we may get it that way also the experienced testers will perform on the testing on our application that is second way of ad hoc testing so these are all the two different cases we are going to perform the ad hoc testing one is when lack of time we are going to do the randomly some functionalities and we will deliver it to the client second one is where the experienced testers may guess the errors on our application and they will perform testing on our application without any plan there is no standard procedures for this so that how we are going to continue with our, our testing that is nothing but ad hoc testing there is no proper plan whatever they guess it they are going to perform testing on our application that is nothing but ad hoc testing so in this video we have seen the previous one is gui testing gui testing we are going to cover each and every element present on our application whether it is existed properly or not if anything is missing we are going to report it to the development team for fixing along with that alignment and tab order also we need to cover in the part of gui testing second one is ad hoc testing two different situations we are going to do that one is when lack of time we need to uh, deliver to the client so to ensure before delivering it to the client randomly we will verify some functionalities major functionalities and we will deliver it to the client by saying conditional sign off second way is we have experienced testers they can guess it where they may get a error based on their experience on other applications then they are going to test on our application and randomly so whatever the way they want there is no specific plan for ad hoc testing without plan doing testing is nothing but ad hoc testing so these are all the questions also in the interview sandal they may ask you questions what is ad hoc testing when you will do that what are the different situations you can use the ad hoc testing what is gui testing what are all the different things you are going to verify in gui testing these questions they may ask in the interview so that's all for this video please subscribe to my channel and encourage me thank you